Mike Broadcasting with my sideline partner, Tyler Beats. Hey, what's going on, everybody? As for right now, this is the second game of the NBA playoffs, and we are ready to get this game started. For the next matchup, we start in game two, as we're about to send you to Cleveland, Ohio, for the Indiana Pacers facing against the Cleveland Cavaliers. This is where it comes in. Indiana Pacers didn't make the first win, so it had to be overturned to Cleveland Cavaliers with a celebration win for 1-0 over Indiana. Pacers needs to find another way if they can get it through fast. Will they tie it up, or will the Cavaliers take a 2 0 lead over the Indiana Pacers? Now for the next sideline, there might be one change and one chance here. I send you over to the next commentators I have here right on the board. It's all called for now, Son of Beast. And he's along with Paintbrush. And of course, you all call for the name stands near, DJ Beast. And I look forward to on the sideline. We'll be back with the post-game show after this game. And that time report will be Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaq O'Neal. Let's get started. Enjoy game two, everybody. That shooting guard, Andrew Demar. That's my board, Aaron Nesbitt. That's center, Miles Turner. And the other four, this is Pascal Siago. And your point guarding position, Tyrese Halliburton. And a coach for the existing team, Rich Brink Carmar. Let's be able to make some noise for your Cleveland Cavaliers! Guard positions. And your net guard is with Donovan Mitchell. Nesmith is on Struess. Mobley is with Pascal Siaka. And your center guards are Miles Turner or Jared Allen. You know, the second game is not going to be the one easier game, but they have all been really looking for everyone's favorite who can take it all and make the win for everybody. And hey, this is a lot of what they a hard one comes in. Let's see what they can do. And the ball's took, and we are all set for game two. Ready to go. For the start for the Pacers, as Nembhard has the ball. Try to switch it over. Now gives it off to Siakam. Siakam spins around the move. Shoots over Mobley, and now layup drive will put in for Pascal Siakam. He has his first bucket 
His last appearance was the lot of points that he has made earlier enough here in game one that he has been making his way in. Well, the, this, the longer step way makes that one process easier enough for Pascal Siakam. He's been coming up along the way down the trail. And there was a lot of slow track because there's sometimes like in between it, you can't really guard on it. And maybe this is what nobody has ever gotten in there. This one really kept on going. And it's not really the hard thing that goes with here. You know, that's what Carlson was really telling him. That Pascal Siakam was definitely trying to keep that one over for it. Maybe the one-timers are not enough. Here's the pass. The Nevar. This one fades. And a foul is first called on Donovan Mitchell. That'll be his first foul. Cleveland's first foul with passing a minute by. First field trip will be Andrew Nembhard. Well, you know what the problem that one is. He made that one a lot harder. He got to look at the rim already, but that one didn't go in there that far. So, so he has to take two free throws in here. First trip to the free throw line will be Indiana Pacers. As of right now, he'll be shooting two. It's the first free throw for Nemhard. Now you can always say Nemhard, he was like all the professional, the rookies that he's been going through. Not everyone after the trade-in puts it up earlier. Well, that one has to be like a lot of hard and difficult strength. You know how they play for, because if Andrew Nemhard may have a lot of it to take a step and bound. This is what they all do. They have to make sure they can get the target there done. And straight away, keeps it simple. And he missed a second. Here's Struess. We'll have it again to Mobley. Mobley now finds again to Struess. Now gift again to Garland. Garland wants to switch things up. Give to Struess. Just down to seven on the shot clock. Looks to Mitchell for the three. Triple range in. Let's start things off for Donnie Mitchell as he has his first bucket. That's what they all say. Donovan Mitchell got to fire it up. Pacers trail by two. Halliburton on Garland. Puts it down to Turner. Watching him on Allen, and there's a jump ball call. That'll be 6.13 left, stopping at 7 minutes, 7 seconds in the shot clock. And it looks like you're going to get a jump in fast. Here comes the jump ball, who gets it first. And Cleveland wins the jump ball, and that's Mobley with the ball. You know, an easier one takes it all, because Jarrett Allen, he has been a better player in the center. He may not be what you're looking for, but you got it all. You make that one feel that he's an excellent, improvable player to stop for. And rebound puts in for Donovan Mitchell. Oh, it looks like the Pascal Siakam got a piece of it. But he went down a bit too soon, but he's still okay. Yeah, hold on tight. No injury, can't reserve it here. And the layup puts it in for Evan Mobley. That'll be his first bucket. And Darius Garland has number with his first assist of the night. Here's Turner. With the ball in position, now finds it over to Nemhar. Nemhar on the layup. The scoop up puts it in as he puts it in for the first one to take. Back down by two. While well, the hard one comes in by, there are no close calls that you are going to get through. Always got to pressure it if you get it done. Mitchell slides it back now, finds Mobley. Mobley swings it now over to get to Schroes. Schroes over overhead pass back to Mitchell. Mitchell, step over to Nemar. The shot misses for two. Miles Turner with his first rebound now finds Nemar by Nesmith. Nesmith finds Nemar. Nemar tries to swing it. Siakam for two. And that one doesn't hit it off. Donovan Mitchell's got a second rebound of the night, now gives it over. Garland for the three! That triple range is off the mark as Garland will take the rebound. Mike Mitchell wants to switch it off. They're in the corner now, trying to feel it out a little bit. Garland shoots! Only for two! Hit it off the ring mark here, and the book another rebound. There's a lot of back-to-back -back switches, can't let the clock wind down because they need to go fast. Allen with the layup. Now another 
rebound for the Cavaliers. They are still going. Struess for the three. Didn't hit up that mark as it went early. Oh, that was going to be Struess to make that three, but it can't happen to work it. The free, the two pointer misses for Siaka. Tara Allen's got his full rebound. Now has it over again to Gary Scarlett. And he's another change for Mitchell. Mitchell, bounce pass to Jared Allen. Leia, good step by Miles Turner. He has a second rebound, now finds Halliburton. Outside of range, give the dish off to Siaka. And he makes a lot dri driving layup. As Tyrese Halliburton will have his first assist. They are even up in a second game. Not what they all call for, because Siakam doesn't have it all to bring it up here at a loose. That chain off is going to be a hard pick and a play. They can't let that one fool out. Three for Struess. Still can't hold on. Garland. Let's take a step back, too. And good. Darius Garland with his second bucket. Do you know what they say? Darius Garland had that one with that step back range. That has to be like a provable to take all. The first timeout call by Indiana Pacers with under three minutes. With a great start for the Cleveland Cavs as the Darius Garland and Mitchell start things up for the second game. Well, the pre-sure's on. Just don't take much of a time if you want to be here. And they do all they can. New competitions are on the court. As right now, a couple players are checked out and a couple players checked in. Doug McDermott checked in. He's also along with DJ McConnell. Then we have his OE topic. Finally, we have it on the other side of it as we got another one here with you, Summer. Now on the other side for the uh, Cavaliers, the Scarlet brings Tristan Thompson, then it's George Nye, Isaac Okoro, and Car Kara Slipper. Here's a good look. Garland swings it over. Here's the cut for guard for Sir LeBurk. And good. Two pointer makes it in for Karis LeBurk. You know, the hard part about Karis LeBurk, he has been able to do for one of his baskets he just been late for. After playing with the Pacers, he wants to make a new change off. I think the Cavaliers want a higher range of that. They just lost so many other players that so they got to just find another way to do this. Maybe they want to bring them back so they can definitely oversee their team. Here's Okoro, finds again to LeVert. We are under two minutes remaining in the first period. Three for Garland! And that shark comes up nowhere. And goes back to Okoro, deciding to give it over. Garland looking for some help. With some open pass, here's Nia, out for three. Rebound again. Back to Garland. Goes right over to LeVert. LeVert decided to swing it over with a bounce pass to Garland shot. What a make. And it's Garland with that two-point basket after LeVert with the assist. You know that's a pass over right now. You make that one go in, and that's a good pass over to again to Garland. What a play. Here's a start. On a two-point range, it's no good. Thompson's got his third rebound of the night. Now he has it over to Garland. On a two offensive rebounds and one defensive rebound. Now Nia finds a pass to LeVert. Three for Nia. Kaboom! Outside the range puts it in for George Nia. And LeVert with the assist. You know, that's what happens because George Nia really want to dish it all. Got that one great start. Here's Zoni Toppin on the breakaway down. And a throw down with two hand dunk. And this one starts to go back with a 16 9 lead. Every time you do this now, because Zoni Toppin's got to get that one right away. I mean, got to really go from here. Levert swings it again with Okoro. Okoro back steps, not finding Levert. Here's another one to George E. 30 seconds in the first period with five seconds to go. Three for Levert. Thompson with his fourth rebound. Now Okoro is on the outside, looking again to Darius Garland. Garland now finding Niang. Niang trying to make a floppy step move, finds a bounce pass to LeBron, and it's stolen by Walker. Walker with his first steal after a turnover by Cleveland. And every top and whoa! How do you do that? Oh, that's what's going to happen like that. A dish off to Oni Toppin, that is a crazy look. And Garland. Garland decided to give over. Levert for three. And kaboom! What a take in! As 
Russell Burt has his first three-pointer. That's where it starts for game two, and you got it all coming. We'll take a quick break, and we got the second quarter coming up after this. 1911, they are trailing by eight. And welcome you back here at Rocket Mortgage Field House as we start the second quarter. Let them know, that's what they all do for now. The Cavaliers showed them what they responded it, and whatever it takes, it's all what they do. Well, that's what they all happen now because Cleveland Cavaliers, they made all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals to face against the Boston Celtics. But it's not till that, after with the 2018 moment of LeBron James, he destroys everybody that does happen to be bringing him into the finals, and they are the ones that brings him all with a better team than you know. Well, it's definitely what they have been going through. Do you really think they're going to make it into the finals again? Well, I'm pretty sure they do. I mean, I don't know what the Cavaliers are going to do. We'll see when they get there done. Well, I have a lot of them that they could be Evan Mobley or could it be anybody? I mean, let's, hey, let's pay attention to that one. We can definitely keep on going. At the free throw line coming up for Evan Mobley as the foul is called on Miles Turner, his first personal foul. Mobley gets missed the first. And he's trying to work his way hard, but this may not be the one that you're going to take all with the credit if Evan Mobley does it more. Well, his, his profanity of that one turned to be like it's all for the man. And sometimes when he does for, he gets a lot of a great static. And because of him, he really is all in for everything. What he doesn't do is he takes all of his time with his playing with his offensive curricular motion and defensive recovery. Sometimes it gets too wet, too much intense. I mean, this needs to be more room. Two for Nesbitt and good on the range. Number two pointer coming in for the Indiana Pacers as they are coming back there down by seven. Deep it over to Max Schuess now finding Mobley. He decided to give it to Allen. Allen with a step up two. That one hit off the top of the frame, but this one rolled almost out of bounds. Close call on that one. Don't mess that one up. Next bit finds Turner. On Allen, takes a pass to McConnell. Mitchell on him. Seven minutes start in for the second period. Five on the shot clock. McConnell takes a step back for three. That missed the number one. And it's stolen and over by Jared Allen. The three pointers is not always out of working. You're never going to get that one in your time enough, and you don't want to make that one too hard. Now he finds Struis. Here's Mobley. In toward the middle. Shoots over Siaka. And it's good. Mobley has his five points in the game. In game two against the Indiana Pacers. Indiana trying to trail it back. Here's Siaka. Oh, what a take on posterizing dunk. Oh, that's when no one does saw that. Pascal Siakam just made that one feel like it, and he said, you know what, I'm going to take over this. Make it feel like who believes it now. That's what I just can't believe it now. What does Siakam do? He just dunks it. Trying to show what the crowd, who I am. And that was an excellent replay presented by AT&T, the 5G Slam Cam. The deep pass passed to Mobley. Mobley, around Turner. The layup scooped in, no good. And McConnell trying to add some more two-pointer curricular to look for more. Turner with the screen. Tiaka right on the outside trying to watch on Mobley. Rolling back to McConnell. Three for Nesbitt. And good at a range outside triple in. As they're cutting it back down, a 22-18. They are trailing by four. Well, that's what they all can't believe on. Nesbitt, got to get that one up their comfortable way. They just got to, like, push up their way through and then go ahead. Shrews on the outside. Shrews want to make a new change off with six to go. They've got to make some early attackers. Two for Mobley. And good. Seven points with Mobley with five minutes remaining. They're back to cutting to extend now by six. That's where it keeps on going in between. 
Now here's Nesmith, the screen on Siaka. And open look, almost stolen. Well, I'm hold on with that, and Siaka, step back with a two. Bates, shoots, and no good here. That one's going to be missing again that moment. It's not what he does now, because he doesn't get that one shot in there. He has to find another way to get it. Here's Mobley, on the outside, now has it over to get to Mitchell. Moving on over to Levert. Levert wants to make a new screen. Gives a bounce pass to Mobley for two, and he's fouled. Aaron Nesbitt for his first personal. There's something to foul for Indiana. No way you can't let that happen because Evan Mobley was like already patient now. I think he wants to do this one again to have the new higher point record at that point. He may not be getting enough well if he tries to stay in there. The next field trip to the free throw line will be the Cleveland Cavs ball. As right now Evan Mobley's at the free throw line shooting too. You called for that one here as you may have already expected it. That Evan Mobley has done for us a lot of routine of his effort. He also made a, that one a lot of his American League of his professional league as he has been drafting in 2021. But he's also noticed he is one of the trying to like keep him going for him. one of his best routines. His Alfinity work drill. That's it's definitely what Evan Mobley has done. Trying to keep that switch in there and go for a right timing down. More senior Mitchell and Morella are checked in. As if they did, the Pacers are also making new changes here as a couple players are checked out and a couple are checked in. Here's Nesmith. They will call a timeout here with only 4.15 left to go in the first half of the game. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Sour Patch Kids. Sweet Sour Gone. AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. And by State Farm. Call it get a free court now. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Substitutional is on the court, as right now we have a current status for Donovan Mitchell. How do you like him now? Well, he's definitely really well at that point. I see Donovan Mitchell is like an excellent star. You may have a call for it. He's like a big killer. Yeah, he's here now. I mean, Donovan Mitchell ready to level up. Now here's Mikado on the outside. It's it's good to take it over by Jackson. The region foul calls on Evan Mobley. That's his first personal and his first team foul. Now Tyrese Max, Tyrese Halliburton will be checking in for DJ McConnell. Now Halliburton will have it now again to Nemhart. Nemhart trying to swing it over. Ball's loose. And Edward, oh, he made a slam down to go with the throw down in between. That one keeps the count coming. There, there is a lot of great defensive earlier range, but they can't let that guard onto him. This is going to be a hard call. They're they not going to get over this. Mobley now finds it over again to Struess. Struess trying to find his way down. Now he finds it over to Mitchell. Seven on a shot clock. Slides it back. Up for two. Rolls in and out. Tyrese Halliburton with 3.30 to go. Tries to put a spin over Morrell and good. He makes that flutter drive and he makes that one another two point score. They are trailing by four. Well, you know what happened because Tyrese Halliburton just made that one a lot of hard drives. It's not what they really kept on going. It's the same thing that everyone has. A lot of it nobody gets going over it and they can't let that one get by. Mobley, here's a three for Mitchell. Swish in, that's outside the range. As Mitchell has six points. They're now back up by seven. Next spin on Mitchell. Finds again to Halliburton. Morrell on him. No ball's loose. Recovered by Jackson. Three for Smith. And that one misses again. 
Another rebound puts in for Evan Mobley, and he's got his first rebound. Well, there are a lot of rebounds putting in there because the Cavaliers, I think they're ready to go on for the next one if they win. Mitchell trying to find over again, now find the ref. Bounce passes down to Struess. Struess with a two. Solid performance of the defender on Nesmith. Now he finds it to Smith. And that one goes in. Another two point to fucking scores in for Indiana Pacers. As Nesmith with the assist. Well, they're keeping on coming down right now. They don't want to get that one comfortable down. They don't want to roll it over. Murillo finds again to Struess. Here's another take. And Mitchell on the outside. Mitchell wanted to take a new change off. Gives again to Morrell. Morrell, three for Mitchell. And good! Range outside goes in. He has nine points. 32 to 24 to score. We're down to 90 seconds. Oh, they say now, Donovan Mitchell, what star on you, poppin'? Timeout call by Indiana Pacers with near the 90 second mark in the first half. We nearly near the end of the first half, as right now we have a halftime show coming up with you, as we have as Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaq O'Neal, as they're ready to check out their first half of the game. And all goals for Sally, Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, what can they go with that point of the figure? There might be another way that can get that one coming. And stay tuned, later for tonight, we've got another game coming up for you. The mix versus the Magic at Kia Center. Follow along with the next game as the Nuggets are back home at Mile High Arena in Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado to face against the Golden State Warriors in the race seat. As we get this thing underway now, as the real NBA playoffs might be coming in right at this moment, we might be seeing things what goes next. What do you guys think? Well, there might be another take here. I have a lot of NBA brackets selected, so let the game begin. Oh yeah, they do. I don't know what they could say, but let's get that facts in there. Because that game's already started. Let's do the substitutional for the Pacers and the Cavs. As right out, a couple players have checked out as Jackson and Smith are off the court. Walker and McDermott are checked in. New changeup for the Cavaliers as they are also making new changes. Struess is checked out as the Coro Niang and Thompson are checked in. Now Coro will try something else here. He finds a bounce pass. Niang gives again to Thompson. He gives again to Garland. Oh, what a take here! And he makes a shot. Garland with eight points after assisted by Tristan Thompson. He's got his first assist. Well, that's an angle now. You've got it all coming. You've got to get that one going in. Two quarter makes it in for Tyrese Salaburkin. It's a 34 26 game with under a minute. Garland now finds again to Okoro. He gets again to Garland. Another two. Good range inside. As Garland has 10 points. Salaburkin. Covered up by Garland. Screen coming. Rejects it. Number two. Play it. Offensive rebound has been given up. Justin Thompson now gives it again to Garland with 30 seconds remaining in the first half. And now he swings off to Thompson. Thompson swings again to Okora. Time to go on the shot clock. 20 seconds on the game clock. He needs to pick up some buckets here and he's fouled. There's an offensive that turns it over to Indiana Ball. Well, there's a bad habit over there. George G.A. must have pushed something over. That is not, that is going to cause them to make a foul over it. Halliburton trying to step up for two, and that one goes in the bucket. And now Garland with the ball. Garland. Now finds it again in George G.A. He had made a mistake earlier, he has his first foul. Here's a 3-2 for Okoro, and does it again! Two in a row for Cleveland Cavs to end the period with a great score in between. That's how you know that Isaac Okoro does it all. And a chance now to go down to Allen and Force as we get set for the third quarter. Hey, Allen. Thanks so much, Rick. What did you think of your team's offensive execution in the first half? We got to get moving more. We got to get it driven more. Uh, they're very physical. Uh, you 
they're trying to run plays, they blow all that stuff up. And so, bottom line with our offense, we got to get some more stops. That'll help our offense. Defense leads to offense. Thanks, Coach. All right, Ali, thank you so much. Please stand by. Halftime show's on. See you later in the third quarter. Case Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. It's Cleveland out on top at halftime. They lead by 10. Jack, how do you think Cleveland play? Three-point shot was their best friend. I agree with the strategy. When it's working, take advantage of it. I don't really like it. Live by the jump or die by the jump. But tonight, they're living and they're living good, baby. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on Indiana. They got hammered. How do you on the board? That's that tells a lot about this game. The heart has not been good. The sacrifice has been good. I mean, they just don't want it. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. We start the third quarter. What a great half this is. A serious girl that has already been on fire to start things up in game two. And now he's looking to eager to get more. Well, you say because of Darius Garland, he was able to do one of his like his better offensive skills in the lineup. He's been really well patient, and he's been going right from here to looking for some extreme plays in between. But I'm very glad of him. He can definitely do it again. We start things up in the second half. All field and ready to go. That's right now, Miles Turner. He's with here on, on Jared Allen. Ben Ants Nemhard, he's with Donovan Mitchell. Max Schroes is Nesmith. Siakam on Evan Mobley. And Tyrese Halliburton, he's with, of course you know, Darius Garland. We start things off as Donovan Mitchell will have it. Now Mobley's got to cover. Let's say again to Garland. Garland with a step back for two. And he missed again. Jared Allen with another rebound. Mobley wants to settle things up. Looking for some new plays in between. Finds Jared Allen for two. And makes it in there. Jared Allen finally has his bucket in. As Garland makes another assist. Oh, and that great connection out there? That's a great communication. All you can definitely say that Darius Garland got that one all coming out. Grabs another miss here for Jared Allen. He has nine rebounds of his game. Now finding again to Darius Garland. Now he gives it off to Evan Mobley. Mobley trying to survey the floor. Struis, off for the two, and he's blocked! Oh, I think we got a deflection here! Oh, that's going to be like a changing. I think that Nem Nesmith had that one with that block shot. That one turned to be over. And Nesmith slams it down. That's a big throw down here. There's no way to make that one helpful because after that block, he shows that guess who's back. You're never going to get that one over if you get that. Two for Allen and good. And another bucket made here for Jared Allen. He has two four points. Pacers trail by ten. Trying to make a screen now again. Stolen by Mobley. Here's Garland. Now finding Mobley. Mobley trying to give it again to Struis. He finds a bounce pass to Jared Allen. Trying to watch him from the screen. The deep bounce pass. And Mitchell for three. Kaboom! Outside of range with save for Mitchell. That's 11 points. And it's Garland with the assist with two points. Now that's what he called that one in here. I say that it is not always hard when Darren Donovan Mitchell had that one coming in earlier. Made that one a harder ball, but not to take all of his contact. It does go in. The foul has been called on Cleveland Cavaliers as Darius Garland picks up a foul. Now, that's not what you do. It's not a nice way because he got swiped up and Tyrese Halliburton coming here to shoot it. But he was complaining that it wasn't him. Well, it definitely happened now because Tyrese Halliburton, he's gone at the free throw line. He's shooting two. Number three throw coming up for the range for Indiana Pacers with 5.32 to go in the third. He hits the first free throw. New switch for the Cleveland Cavaliers. 
As right now, Kar Karis LeBert will check in for Donovan Mitchell. He's been playing really well right now, but Karis LeBert wants to see if he can do this one again. And he makes a second. He is Garland. Now finds it over to Jared Allen. He wants to give it to Garland. Here he comes. Oh, what a take and smoke out run to drive the lane up. He has wow. Now that's the go ahead and give and go moment. That's a great layup. Timeout called by Indiana Pacers. They have three timeouts remaining. Their team is on fire. 517, you know the name. That's what they all know of them. The Cavaliers pressurize. Without seeing it in 2020, but they now finally dug it out. They want to come back in and do it again. Yeah, it all knows for some secret. They say that Cavaliers cannot be stopped without the great player of LeBron James, along with Kevin Love, and I get that they might be going in between, but you may never know what you get. It's great enough, let's push it on and show it out. And you have an update right now as we give you some a little bit of the tickets here as we are starting to slow things down right now. VIP tickets sold out already. Every place in right now because everyone's eager to go. And probably for the next VIP, you will get in there soon with $75 in between. So you will see the make and great creators sign autographs. And if you all choose to go, hope you enjoyed it. And take some pictures and some time to enjoy them. And you definitely will enjoy it too. And for those of you who are going out to someplace else instead of New York, they will be ready for everything as you will see them right up ahead. With Eastern Conference standings, we still got a lot of them to take over. We'll find out what they've got just for a real game. Now you know what happened now they were battling in. I think this could be a close call range. Let's see what happens. Nemhard on the work. Now Siakam's on Mobley. Six on the shot clock. Siakam pulls the screen. Three for Turk. The nervous by Indiana. Highlands guys, 10 three down. Now swing it over again to Levert. Levert now swings back to Mobley. Mobley now finds it over. Garland for three. And good. Outside makes it in. Garland does it again. He has 15 points. That's what Dahl has to say, Darius Garland. He's on a smoke out. Turner gives it off to Halliburton for three. L rolls in and out. 423 left to go in the third quarter. As Allen's got another one. Now Garland will try to switch it over. He finds the pass to Evan Mobley. Sorry to settle up again. Settling down is Mobley. Now the screen helps him out for Evan Mobley. Get to Mobley, on a drive, what a take! Mobley with 11 points assisted by Garland. Now that's a big takeover with the pass, and that layup has to be a finished drive that you got it coming. Halliburton on Garland. Take some time looking for Nemhard. Nemhard on the drive, it's denied by Allen! Gives it off to Mobley. Here comes Garland. Fake shot. Now finds Struce. Here's another one for Levert. It goes back again to Mobley. Mobley swings it again to Struce. Now bounce pass to Garland. Step back for the two. And misses again. Turner with the number rebound. Now finding Levert in. Watching him to trade closely. He now finds Nesmith. Struce on him. Screen on Turner. Here's another take. Turn to try it for three again. And he finally dug it. He has that one three-pointer made. As now this one cuts down with a 51-37 game. Shrews now finds again in Darius Garland. Garland feeling out a little bit. Now finding again to Levert. Levert swings up the two. That misses again, and it's off the rim, and it goes back to Nesmith. 
Siakam trying to make his way in there. Wanted to try to have some a little bit of push up. Good team. Here we go. Finally it up. And it's the last touch here on Indiana. That turns over the Cavs ball. Look under 2.30. As we have a little current stand here for Carol Silver. 5.1 is the score for the shooting guard on his rebound. He's in third. Well, and never you take here for Darius Garland to give off to Karis LeVert. He has it all with the rebound. May take it all where he got. Now he finds to Allen. Near the corner. Now finding again to Karis LeVert. Goes with a layup and scoops in. LeVert with seven points with only 2.09 to go. 53-37. Under two minutes remaining, here's Nemar. Halliburton trying to pull the attack, and Wade Allen! How did that one happen with a pass projection? And three for Allen, could he do it? No, it doesn't make the three. Tries hard, but it doesn't work out for him if he makes the outside range helpful. Now Turner on against Allen. Holding on him, now by Nemar. Asiaka, five seconds to shoot. With no time, here's Nemsmith, and he makes a shot before the shot clock turns to a violation, and now comes in to a 53-39 game. Now their first timeout will be called by Cleveland Cavs. They have it with just under 90 seconds to remain. You know, the time that has always come, but I always always say, because that's a great shot when you made that one in there before the shot clock turns off, that one must have been turned to be to be a hard one to take. But as all it does now, he does make it a uh, attributable on his own game and offense. It's not what they always do, but whenever you do with his offense, you get that one coming, you've got it all going through. And I know that it's hard to deny when you're playing defense, you got a great defensive effort. You can try to block it, or you can try to take it all with a steal. And this may not be the only day if you want to get that ball back. Some substitutions for the Indiana Pacers and for the Cavaliers. Now Tristan Thompson's check back in for Jared Allen. Five players who checked out as all five players checked in as McDermott Nesmith moves over. TJ McConnell with Alon Oni Toppin and Walker. Morrell with Okoro and George Nye on the court. And right now Tristan Thompson is checked in for Allen again. He now finds it again to Thompson. Back over to Walker. i am never missed by Cleveland. Well, they're shooting enough at R because Tristan Thompson really needs to find another way to get this through. I don't think that may not help, but let's find out if he does this one right, once more. Neesmith makes another two-pointer. They're cutting it down here with just nearing down the end of the third quarter. Here's Morrell trying to finish the drive, and he's fouled. Aaron Neesmith with his second personal. Another team foul for Indiana Pacers. Well, that Morrell with the drive need to be like a, a current step. That Morrell puts it in for the layup, and that's not what he does, because it sometimes happens, he might get it all comfortable down. Might play for the next one if he does with his next offensive struggle way to get there through. Hits the first free throw for Morrell. And to talk about that one here, Morrell has been playing it since he played with the Utah State University. That would happen to be all he has been turning to make the Morrell move an excellent player. Tyree Celebrate is checked in on the court. One shot coming up here for Morrell. He makes the second. He's also known as the Sammy Buckets. You may always say that he's been drafting in here since 2020, but how can you play that one if you make some buckets in here? The world may never know. <laughs> hey, that's not what always do, because Sam Marino wants it all. I mean, let's give it a credit. Six on the shot clock. McConnell with a drive, and the ball by Thompson! And makes the shot in there before the shot clock turns to be a violation. 
And right now he makes it in our bucket. And Garland will swing it out to Morrell. Merrill back again to Garland. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Oh, nope, the game clock. Morrell. See what he wants to do. Gives it Garland to make a top for a bus pointer. And he throws it again. Wow, Darius Garland is on fire. What a take a pass here from Morrell. And that's when you can show him off. That is an end game. You pick that one, block out. Deny it. Get it going. And what a play this is. I think the Cavs are doing much better with their offensive work. We come to the end of the third quarter as we got 57 to 43. We'll stick around here for the final quarter in the NBA playoffs in Cleveland, Ohio. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. While we have a minute, let's reveal your State Farm assist of the game. To talk about what that happened to be like this, all players does have that one with the correct call, and Karis LeVert seemed to do a lot of better trick. This offense does have it all to keep the threes in there, and that one puts it in Darius Garland, a better play of the night. And yes, he's doing really well. His clutching playoff does keep it hot. Let's see if he does it again. So glad you're back with us here as we start off along with the fourth quarter. With the last group substitution as McConnell is on Darius Garland. Morris Senior, he's with Tommy Celebrant. Vance Acrow on McDermott. Finally, Dennis Mitchell on Oni Toppin. And finally, George Yang here on Ian Jackson. Karis LeBert trying to get that one over with an R pointer, and more seniors wants to do the same thing if he does it. And he finally gets his bucket in. More senior just finally realizing he does have the bucket range. He says, oh yes, I'm on it. Now he's a pass to Halliburton. The screen for Jackson. For the two, rolls in and out. Moore Senior's got a second rebound, looking to get more for his another rebound defensive play. And now he finds a more senior gives again to Niang. Niang, back to Garland, now find Mitchell. Mitchell, try to step back in the move, now he gives it over again to Niang. Five to shoot. And two, does he get in there? Garland, up! Oh, what a take in! Garland with 19 points! They are a killer in the run! You know how it pays off? Darius Garland does have it all. Alberton for three, misses again. Never rebound, puts for Jackson, and he makes a layup drive. 6.30 left to go in the fourth quarter. Now he finds again a more senior. He wants to give it to Okoro for three. How do you like that? Okoro with five points, and it's more senior with the assists. Just got to keep that one going ahead and take the three. You got it all coming. Halliburton, three for McConnell. Misses again. Number two, ugly on a shot. Trying to take over. Oh, more Senior! How did you do that? Oh, that was more Senior going to take the drive out of it. He said, take a look at this. I've got to take over that one. And with the block shot to deny it. Just like Jared Allen did. Oh, he's the killer now. Moore Senior got to step out for him. And Garland does it again. 21 points. 66 to 45 to score with only 5.35 left to go. Now McConnell on Darius Garland. Trying to hold on to it. Now finds Halliburton. Screen on Jackson. Here comes the spin move. Layup. No good. Mitchell, he has his third rebound. Now he gives off to Moore Senior. Here's Mitchell on the outside, wants to do another floppy motion. He finds Moore Senior. Take the three. Triple range to you back. Moore Senior with five points, assisted by Mitchell. That's what he's calling for. Back to back threes, they're keeping it going. McConnell on Garland. Watching him closely, screen on Jackson. Top it, rip it now. Dish off to McDermott. Just six to shoot. Backstepper over Okoro. Good solid D for Okoro. Darius Garland's got this third rebound, now have it over to Niang. 
back again to Garland, trying to wait for his time. Now he wants to roll it over to Wakoro. Do some motion, he finds it to Mitchell, and a shot, what a take in! Okoro with his first assist, 13 points for Mitchell. That's what they say, Donovan Mitchell is keeping the show, roll on. And I want to say, I'm rocking for Cleveland, baby. That one team be a great one to taste. The region fouls called him George A, yet he has a second. The new substitution has been making replacements here, as three players check off the court. Nemrod, Siakam, and Turner are checked in. Three players are checked out for the Cavs as Allen and Struess are back on the court, while Morris Sr. sticks with the point forward position. Now he finds it to McConnell. Garland on him. Screen on Turner. He gives off to Turner for three. An excellent defensive to take, and Morris Sr. to stop the shot. And he takes it back, and never missed by Indiana Pacers. They're really quiet now. I don't know what they're doing, but they're going to get tired out. I think this could be another devastation. This could be a 2-0, 0-2 score for the games in the playoffs for Indiana Pacers. They might have an answer back if they have a game 3 and 4. Here's another one. Darius Garland for the 2. Step up range, no good. And now Pascal Siakam will have that ball in range. We'll try his own. No player here. Allen with his 13th rebound with three minutes gone by in the third, fourth period. Garland now swings it to get a more senior. Screen on Allen, decided to help him. And here's Allen in a shot range. Solid D by Miles Turner. That's Miles Turner. He has that one of his job. He has to take it all of his time. If nothing, no offense is going over. He's got to do some a lot of his technique in. Back step for Siakam is good over Siakam, over Garland. Now he has a number two. Spray some more room. Here comes Allen. Struess. Garland back on the outside. Not finding Struess. Here he comes. The layup. Pulling it back. No good. Struess getting a little bit cold already, but his team's graduated up. He finally dug it again. Now the foul has been called on Moore Sr. That's his first personal and second team foul for Cleveland. He stopped the clock with 2.18 to go. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. And right now Siakam's on the floor at the free throw line, shooting two. It's the first free throw. We're going to do substitution on the court as the Indiana Pacers will bring in Tyree Celebrating and McConnell's checked out. On a new substitution again as Nesbitt switches over. The Cavaliers are also making new changes as more seniors checked out and Mobley's checked back in. The second free throw is good for Siakam. You know the hard thing about Siakam, every two, you take the point. If he's fouled, just take the free throw with him. Mobley now finding inside. Trying to find a cut for, for Garius Garland. The three for Mitchell. Oh, yes, you do. Mitchell with 16 points and Garland with the assist. The fans are wild now. The rock does on. McDermott watching here as right now Tyree Celebrating on Garland. Siaka finding again to Turner. Here's how they for two. And good range inside. And Turner with the assist. 145 lets remain in the fourth quarter. He finds Jared I. Here he comes to drive in the forward. Doesn't able to answer that one. Nesbitt takes a pass to Turner. On number three. Swishes in on the outside. On number one takeover for Nesmith. And it's now it's a 74-54 game. Well, they're really like all over it now. I mean, they could be running down. I think that's going to be the end for Indiana Pacers with a ending run score games one and two. But they'll be back with game three and four after the hockey. Struess 
want to go over to guard to Allen and up with the shot. The teardrop floater doesn't hit in. Nice fit with the ball. The clock winds down with 55 seconds. Shooting about, Struess rechecks the shot. We have a new substitutional court as three players are checked off and three players are checked on. McConnell, Alaverian, and Toppin are checked in. The Cavaliers are also making new changes as right now four players are checked off the court. Morel, Mitchell moves over. Moore Senior and Thompson is checked in for Allen. Now he finds the Toppin and over and back he goes with a number two pointer. So they can just juice down the clock with just 50 seconds and with only 18 seconds to remain in the fourth quarter. Here's Jerry Scarlett with the ball. Slides it back, gives the pass off to Mitchell. Now he finds it again to Murillo. Murillo wants to take a number two. That's off the rim and it's rebounded by Turner. And now Toppin will grab it off. Last possession for the Pacers. This is again. See how the left? Oh, it takes a one hand dunk. That one's going to be like a hard, painful rim. I mean, can't let that one fool you. So they're rocking it in. Two wins for the Cleveland Cavaliers as they ended up with 74 to 58 score in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, a solid win here, and that's what they all know of. They make that one an impressive great win in the game. And you know, that's how it does happen. Every game does matter. So that ends up here with me, Paintbrush, along with Son of Beast and DJ Beast. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. With all of us here with Valley of the Force, thanks for joining us here for the first game. And we'll see you all for the next game on its way. Your New Balance player of the game will be on a three-star player of the game on your way shortly. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. All right, thank you, Paintbrush. As this one has to be the end for the first one of the night. You know, I say it now because that's what they always do. And just a way to make the feeling changeful. They really say that's a lot of like accomplishment. All this timing and this effort is like an all impact right now. They've been doing great. Now they're running two and zero streak. They'll be ready to rock things on to head to Indiana on the other side. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 51% for the field goals, 50% for the three pointers for Cleveland Cavaliers. Fast break points was only four. 32 points in the paint for Indiana Pacers. Then it was the second chance points, 10 even between. 22 for bench points for Cleveland Cavaliers. 26, 11 offensive rebounds. 12, T3 defensive rebounds for Cleveland Cavaliers. Two steals and four blocks for Cleveland Cavaliers. Two turnovers was Indiana with three team fouls and six dunks performed. 26 was the biggest lead for Cleveland with the time of possession of 18-18. Well, they really been smoking now. I guess now they have been winning earlier. Now it's time to present your three star players of the game. I'll start with you, Tyler. You have it all. All right, thank you so much. As I start off with three star players of the game, we start with Pascal Siakam with 14 points, three rebounds, one assist, only a six out of 10 field goal range. Doesn't hit the three pointers, but only made 16 performances and two dunks has been made. He's been doing really well. I mean, hopefully game three will come in by. Now for number two, as I said it over to Donovan Mitchell with 16 points, three rebounds, one assist. Only 6 out of 9 field goal range, 4 three-pointers, and 4 three-pointers on the other side. Only 19 performance effort. It looks like Game 1 turns out to be a huge success, but Game 2, rocking it on. And your first star player of the game. Your New Balance player of the game. Well, all go say, point guard, Darius Garland. With 21 points, 3 rebounds, 9 assists, 10 out of 15 field goal range, 1 three-pointer, 3 pointers were made in, in between the first and the second half. Then it was 41 performance effort. He's such a big guy already, but you can always can't tell you that Darius Garland can't mess up if he does it the wrong way. But he definitely made that one correctly. He's doing great. And that wraps up the first game. If you're ready for the second game, we've got the Clippers and the Mavericks.
That's happening here at Crypto.com Arena. I'll be coming up in just a bit. See you all later on the other side. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports style. See you later, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.